IQ is normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. And I've already set up the normal distribution curve below where we have the mean of 100 at the center of the distribution and the horizontal axis is scaled by the standard deviation of 15. For part A, we're asked to find the probability that a person has an IQ greater than 90, which we can indicate as the probability that X is greater than 90. Looking at the graph, notice how 90 is approximately here, and therefore the probability a person has an IQ greater than 90 is equal to the area under the curve to the right of the IQ score of 90, which is this area here. Because 90 does not fall on one of the standard deviations above or below the mean, we cannot approximate this area using the empirical rule. We either have to use technology or find the z-score and use a table. In this video, we'll use the normal cumulative density function tool on the T84 to determine the probability. So let's go to the calculator and we press second vars and then number two is the normal cumulative density function and now we need to find the lower bound or left bound, upper bound or right bound, enter the mean, the standard deviation, and then paste the information into the normal cumulative density function tool. So the lower bound is the IQ score of 90, so we enter 90 and then enter. Because we want all the area to the right, we have to exaggerate the right bound. Something like 999999 works well. Enter, the mean is 100. Enter, the standard deviation is 15. Enter, press enter again on paste. And now if you have an older T84, you may have to enter the information on the home screen as we see it here. And now we press enter. To four decimal places, as a decimal we have approximately 0 0.7475, which as a percentage is 74.75%. For part B, find the probability that a person has an IQ less than 120, which is the probability that X is less than 120. Going back to the graph, notice 120 is approximately here. Because we're looking for the probability that a person has an IQ less than 120, we're looking for the area to the left of 120, which means now we'll have to exaggerate the lower bound using the normal cumulative density function tool. So going back to the calculator, we press second vars and then number two for normal cumulative density function. And again, now we have to exaggerate the lower bound or left bound. Let's enter negative 999999, enter. The upper bound or right bound is 120, enter. Everything else remains the same, so we go down to paste, press enter, and then enter again. To four decimal places, as a decimal, the probability is approximately 0 0.9088, which is 90.88%. Part C, in a sample of 1,200 people, how many would have an IQ less than 105? To answer this question, we'll have two steps. We'll first find the probability that X is less than 105, and then we'll find that percent of 1,200 people to answer the question. On our graph, an IQ of 105 is approximately here. So we're first trying to find the probability a person has an IQ less than 105, which is equal to the area on the left. So going back to the calculator, we press second vars, Number two, because we're looking for the area on the left, we can keep the lower bound or left bound as our exaggerated value of negative 999999. The upper bound now is 105, so we press enter, 105, enter. The mean and standard deviation remain the same, so we go down to paste, press enter, and enter again. And the probability a person has an IQ less than 105 is approximately 0 0.6306. Which means to find how many people in a sample of 1,200 have an IQ less than 105, 
we need to find 63.06% of 1,200. So now we need to take the decimal form of the probability, which is 0 0.6306, and multiply by 1,200. And we'll round to the nearest person. To be more accurate, we could just press times 1,200, which will multiply the previous result by 1,200, which the nearest person would be 757. But if we multiply 0 0.6306 and 1,200, the rounded value should be the same, which we can see would also be approximately 757 people. And for our last question, in a sample of 600 people, how many would have an IQ greater than 135? The IQ score of 135 is here on the far right. And because we're looking for the number of people out of 600 that have an IQ greater than 135, we need to find the area on the right, this small area here. So again, we'll first find the probability that X is greater than 135 and then we'll multiply that probability by 600 to determine the number of people out of 600 that would have an IQ greater than 135. And this will be an approximation. So going back to the calculator, second VARS number two. Now the lower bound is going to be the IQ score of 135. Enter. We need to exaggerate the upper bound to right bound. Let's use 999999. Enter. The mean and standard deviation remain the same. So we press enter on paste and enter again. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.0098, which as a percentage would be 0.98%. But to find the number of people out of 600 that have an IQ greater than 135, we use the decimal and multiply by 600. So going back to the calculator, again, we could just press times 600, enter, or we can use a decimal approximation of 0 0.0098 and multiply by 600, which to the nearest person should give us the same result of approximately six people. I hope you found this helpful.